it's fair to say that there's a lot of naysayers when it comes to electric vehicles. And one of the things that they criticize, they say electric cars, no, 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 they're too heavy. They're too heavy. They cause too much wear and tear. And frankly, they don't make sense. But the pace of innovation in electric cars is truly staggering. It's one reason why, for example, the Tesla Model Y weighs about the same as what is direct competitors that a gasoline powered do. However, there's one new innovation that has just been announced. Now, General Motors actually has a variation of this innovation already in their cars, but this new innovation will make GM's version of this obsolete. General Motors will use this new version and it will significantly improve their cars. In fact, Tesla themselves might even be planning on using it as well. The pace of innovation in EVs is truly staggering. And it actually makes the development of gasoline powered cars over the last 30 years look incredibly, incredibly slow. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. I'm here in Bangkok, in Thailand. As many of you would know, here because my wife is undergoing cancer treatment for stage four so called incurable cancer. We're not going to take it like that. So we're approaching it as though it is curable. And with your help, I think it could be. Anyhow, I'll put a link in the description below to what's been going on. LG, who are General Motors' primary battery supply, well, pretty much their only battery supply in the United States, have developed a wireless 800 volt battery management system for electric vehicles. GM already have a partially wireless system in their Altium vehicles. It's actually one of the advantages of GM's Altium cars that General Motors should focus on because it is an advantage, it reduces weight. But this new version, it's quite a step up. The solution will make battery packs smaller and lighter and production will begin next year. So this isn't some sort of innovation where people are making a YouTube video saying, hey, look at this amazing thing. This is real, it's actually real. The wireless battery management system is embedded in a high frequency communications module that combines essential components for wireless communication, such as a chip and antenna, as well as anything else needed to transmit information in one single device. The first time this has happened anywhere in the world, according to LG. Now, is it really the first time? Well, technically it will be, but there have been other companies who have develop this idea and that are working on this idea, but LG are the first ones to bring this to the mass market. The main advantage of a wireless battery management system is it reduces the weight and the volume of a battery pack. This ensures 10 to 15% more space to increase capacity of the pack. So that means that the actual pack enclosure can be smaller and it means there's no wires. Now the wires that connect the battery management system to the battery cells are quite heavy. In fact, way heavier than what you'd think. Now, if you're wondering what a battery management system is, well, it's something that Nissan Leafs don't have. Seriously, at least they haven't had for many years. And that's one of the key reasons why the battery degradation in a Nissan Leaf was so bad. Unfortunately, this led to the entire mass media, the world media saying, look, we told you EVs don't work. They suck. You've got to replace the batteries in eight to 10 years. Imagine how much that's going to cost you. It's going to cost you so much money. So we've, you've probably seen this myth, right? Getting around batteries will last eight to 10 years. It's not true. Not true at all. In fact, it's complete nonsense. In the case of Nissan Leafs, older models especially, yes, that may be true if you drive them a lot. Because without a battery management system, the battery degrades much faster. A battery management system can cool the battery down, heat the battery up depending on what's needed, meaning it will extend the life of the battery massively. Huge, huge difference. If you don't have a battery management system in your vehicle, it's like having a mobile phone, right? Then it's like having a, a mobile phone, yeah? The battery in your mobile phone, it sucks because you put it in your pocket and what happens? The battery gets hot, the battery degrades really fast. No battery management system, no fans, no cooling, etc., And the battery dies much, much quicker. So battery management systems monitor and control factors such as voltage, current and temperature within a battery pack. First within a battery module by cable, then the individual modules in turn are wired to the entire battery system at the pack level. A lot of wiring here. If these cables and their connections are eliminated, the weight will be able to drop between 30 and 90 kilograms. Now 90 kilograms is a huge difference. That's 66 to 198 pounds per car. 
And in terms of space, there's a significant improvement in LG is saying from 10 to 15% more space in the pack, meaning the actual pack enclosure is smaller, the battery itself is smaller, and you can either put more cells in the pack or just simply make the battery pack smaller. It's a big advantage. The other big advantage here is that uh, if you've got no cables that can malfunction, obviously, the battery is more likely to last longer, which is very important for LG Chem, LG Energy Solutions, knowing their battery history is actually pretty bad, the worst in the industry, hands down. It's not close. I'm sorry if you've got an LG Chem battery in your car, but that's just a fact. This should help though, I believe, having a wireless battery management system eliminates a huge number of wires and a huge number of things that could go wrong. I think wireless battery management systems will be ubiquitous. They'll be in every single electric car by the end of this decade. A car that doesn't have one would be a huge disadvantage. This is a massive development in the industry and everyone else will inevitably copy it. LG also emphasized that a wireless battery management system will increase reliability, like I just said. Even if a radio system instead of cables, which are less susceptible to interference, would initially suggest the opposite. According to LG, the possibility of cables or connectors defecting due to the shaking of the vehicle will completely disappear. So if you go off of, over a bump, for example, in an EV, it is remotely possible if you hit a bump really hard or enough times really hard, you could shake one of the cables loose that attaches from a battery module, and there's lots of battery modules in a pack, to the battery management system. On the other hand though, potential sources of error during the manual assembly of a battery system would be eliminated. So in other words, when they put the battery pack together manually, which is generally what happens at that stage, when they're actually connecting the cables from the battery management system to the battery modules, there can be the possibility of error there. So this would remove that possibility of an error. The other thing that LG say is that it will make batteries cheaper. For example, not having to pay for all these cables reduces the cost, plus the manual labor. Now they can automate most of the battery system manufacture and processes, further reducing prices. So we're eliminating weight, reducing prices, reducing complexity and improving reliability. That's four big advantages here. For something that seems like it's a pretty minimal difference, it's actually very significant. Mass production of these systems will start in 2024. Crazy to think that's next year. The approach of a wireless battery management system is not new, says Electriv.com. As the US Semiconductor Specialist, Texas Instruments already presented a system like this at the beginning of 2021. However, it wasn't designed for 800 volts. General Motors relies on an almost completely wireless battery management system with LG Chem, who make it, for the Ultium battery platform. But this new system, I imagine, will be adopted by General Motors within the next year, meaning their wireless system will become, well, their nearly wireless system will become completely wireless. In my view, this technology is incredible. It's just one of many things making EVs better consistently. The naysayers, doesn't matter what EVs do, they will find something to criticize, but there's less and less for them to do so. Weight is coming down, complexity is going down, reliability is going up, prices for battery packs will come down as a result of innovations like this and other ones. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.